New Haven officials breaking ground on a housing development in the city's downtown area. It's a project that's been years in the making. News 8's Brittany Taylor has more on that. Three, two, one, three. The shovels are now in the ground. What used to be Harold's formal wear will soon become one of the city's latest housing projects. We're excited. We think uh, we want this to be the first of many projects we do here. Harold's closed in 2015 after over 70 years of business in the Elm City. The city says the lot will now be replaced with 96 mixed use units with retail space. It will be located steps away from transit. It is really important that we have a livable downtown, downtown, so that young people will be attracted to the city, will have what they want, an easy way to get around without automobiles, and easy access to New York or Boston on the train. The units, however, will not be affordable. The city says they will be rented at market value. We need all kinds of different units uh, it's deeply affordable, affordable, but we also need more market rate units. The more units that are online, the less pressure on the market right now. We have a real supply problem. The mayor says New Haven has issued 500 housing development permits this year, and roughly 3,500 are currently in the pipeline. In 2022, the city approved an inclusionary zoning code requiring new developments to have 15% of its units as affordable. 19 Elm Street was approved before that municipal law took effect. With construction for the project getting underway soon, developers say that it's expected to be completed in early 2026. In New Haven, Brittany Taylor, News 8.